is we'll just cut the first part out. Okay. Um, so yeah, so what you'll have to do is, oh, I got it, I got it. What you'll have to do is adjust the length of the straps for the patient's leg first. Okay. And then for the patient, once this is done the first time, they never have to readjust it. Okay. Okay. And did something happen to the clip? It's a should be a clip on here. Is it on? Oh, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Jeez, losing my mind. Oh, we need that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is the bottom two. Okay. And we're just trying to get the shot to where it terminates in the front, not on the side, okay. uh, so that it's easy for them to grab. So if it was too long, it would be wrapping around the leg yeah, and back cool. here. And then there's always a concern as well that if you're walking and the patient has big legs, mm -hmm. that if if the if the if the strap or the velcro is here, they might be pulling it as they rub their legs together. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want it terminating where it is. Okay. So you don't want it you don't want it too short, you don't want it too long. So then we take off the this basically prevents the uh, strap from sliding on the leg. It gives it a little bit more bulk. Just lengthening the strap just a little bit. Reapply the grip. Good. Almost. Length just a little bit. And this is just basically all done by feel. You can do it a number of times and you'll kind of know how far to let it out. So, and these always do kind of come back a little bit, the ones on the thigh. Mm -hmm. It's because of where this, where this is. If you have a big patient with a real big thigh, um, you might actually make the strap even longer okay. so that it doesn't interrupt it. He's, he's a nice thing guy, so he'll be fine. Okay. okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we've got the straps all set. Now we're gonna actually teach them how to use it. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's talk about taking the brace off since we're here. So when you take the brace off, we are going to gently loosen the strap just a little bit to make it easier to reconnect once you put the brace on again, right? right. So you never want to un-Velcro these straps like this. Right. Yes. You don't have to do that because there's no need to. All you have to do is, yep, so push and pull. Push and pull, yes. So we'll get all four of them off. The most important thing, putting the brace on, is where you apply the pad. Mm -hmm. The biggest mistake people make is putting it on too low on their knee right. and not putting it far enough on the side of their knee. A lot of times they'll put it up here by the kneecap. We don't want it up here by the kneecap. We want it on the side of the knee so that it puts pressure straight across the joint to unload the knee over here. Right here. So it almost has an opposite effect. So we're putting pressure on the lateral part of the joint to open up the medial part of the joint to take pressure off where the arthritis is. All right, so there's a little tendon back here. You can kind of feel that with yep. your hand. You feel that? Yep. So you want the pad to be way back near that tendon directly on the side of the knee. So I always say, look for the patella, come straight over from the patella, and you should intersect the very middle of the brace. Got it. Like the middle of the pad, the middle of that little clip on the brace. So straight over from the middle part of the kneecap, straight over to the side of the brace. The very first strap you wanna put on is this strap here, right behind the leg. What I like to have you feel is where that strap is, mm -hmm. way up on behind the knee. Yep. If you put it on too low, you don't really grab the calf. The calf is what's really preventing the brace from sliding down the leg. 
that and the suspension sleeve we're gonna give you. So we put that first one on. Now the brace will literally kind of sit on your knee without any other straps being put on it. So that's why you put this one on first. I like to guide you through the process by putting the next one on. So kind of surround the knee being this one and then just, yep. Yeah. And then again, you're rechecking the hinge in between each strap that you haven't pulled it out of place. Mm -hmm. It's still in the perfect place. We're still halfway right in the middle of the kneecap halfway to the brace, that's perfect. And then you put on the bottom one, snug it up, put on the top one, and snug it up. Perfect, just like that. All right, now we are gonna apply the correction here. So what this does what this does is this is applying pressure on that joint. So it's pushing your knee Got this it. way. So we're correcting that bow leg and making your knee more straight. Okay, and then the last thing. So this, we generally don't have you mess with a ton, if ever. And we would probably be the ones that would prefer adjust to adjust it, it. Got it if you need it. So um, if we had put too much pressure on it in the beginning, it'll be difficult for you to, uh, you'll probably, your knee would probably be more sore. So I'll put some mild correction in and then if you need more correction later, we can add to it after your knee gets more used to it. Okay, okay so this is Velcro. This is called a suspension sleeve. Every patient gets a suspension sleeve. I can't tell you how many patients have come in with their brace on and aren't wearing it. This is super important for holding the brace in position, so you must wear this with the brace. It'll work much better and you'll be happy to wear the brace with it. So um, this Velcro here attaches to the outside of the straps. And we always wanna pull from outside to inside because we know we're not gonna pull the brace out of place. Okay, and it just wraps around and Velcro's here. So, a couple of mistakes that people make. This is one of them, they put it on this way. As you can see, nothing really changed. I didn't pull the brace out of position, but I'm also aware that that can happen. But we'd rather you put it on the other way so that we don't risk pulling this hinge forward. Okay. Yeah. So. This way. This way. Outside to inside. Clockwise. Yes. Yes. Okay. From my perspective. Correct. So, all right. So now we get so that's that's the whole brace applied, all squared away. All right, let's talk about nothing needed up here. No, that's no, that's correct. Yeah. So a couple things. All right, a couple of common errors. We talked about putting the brace on in bad places. So it's kind of hard to put the brace on too high exactly. because it's probably kind of obvious that that's right. not your knee joint. But I'll see a lot of people coming in with it way too low. Okay. So you want it, again, right across from the kneecap and right on the side of the knee and not here. I see that a lot too, okay. where it's right there. And then it, that's a kind of a funny angle on the joint. That's not going to offload your knee. So two things with wearing the brace in terms of it being effective. One, you got to wear it for it to help. And number two, you got to put it on right for it to help. Okay. So now is the uh, final exam, and we're gonna let you put it on all by yourself and see how you do. Okay. So there. Yep. So yeah, just kinda kinda find the right strap. There you go. The strap here, come across here. Yep. Good, yeah. cinch it up. Yep, and just recheck the hinge and where it is. Yep. Good, and that's perfect. Good. And this one? Yep. This tendon right here. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Tighten it up so that's right above the tendon. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, this one. There. This one. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then the last part. Here. Yes, sir. Go. 
know. By gosh, I think you made a hundred. <laughs> well done. That is fantastic. So most people, I will tell you, can get almost a hundred percent relief or a hundred percent relief just by using the brace with weight bearing activity. Right. Whether that's golf, walking long distances, standing for long periods of time, hiking, walking on uneven terrain, yard work, the brace is amazing if you wear it and put it on right. A couple things about how much to wear it. Um, don't need to wear it if you're sitting at home on the couch. Don't need to wear it at night when you sleep. It's for weight bearing, so of course only when you're standing. Um, and you can wear it more than two to three hours a day. We generally just recommend trying it for two or three hours a day. Sure. If you were a guy that stood for eight hours a day on a concrete floor at work, I would suggest wearing it eight hours a day on a concrete floor at work. Uh, but obviously you're not doing that. So for you, I'd wear it when you walk for exercise and I'd wear it when you play golf. Perfect. Very simply. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Questions? No. That was one, one moving part. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm an engineer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, and you get you get all that stuff more than us, so that's and, wonderful. And I like it. I like the looks. It's good. Perfect. Complicated looking. It actually yeah. matches your attire. That's right. And uh, and um, and yes, in, in terms of putting yes. it on and under your clothes, coordinated too. Yeah. That's right. You will be able to put that on first, and then uh -huh. put your pants on over. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. One second, just a quick second. I wouldn't bother. I want to wear it outside. There you go. Like Poncho Villa. There you go. There you go. So a couple of places. A okay. patient initial there that you haven't received a brace in three years. And then a signature there on that line. And then the date today is 126-22. Very good. And that's it. Uh, basically, the, this note says that uh, you received the brace from us. We taught you how to use it. Um, brace kind of like underwear. Yep. Once you got it, you got it. So, uh, right. but you, if you have any issues with it, there's a warranty. If you have any issues with it, uh, let us know. Uh, I, I think you're going to really like it. So, yeah. So, okay, great. Wonderful. Well, very nice meeting you. Let's yeah. come up to the front and we'll get you checked out. Okay.